bottom to this video on inserting tables from PDFs in Microsoft Excel. So just to set this up really nicely, I am on a Windows device, I'm using a Microsoft 365 license, and I'm using Excel for the desktop. Just in case yours looks a little bit different, you've got different functionality on there, using a different device, etc. There's a lot of different options out there, so you might see something slightly different. Let's have a look at what we're going to import, and then I'll show you how you can do it. It's super simple and super easy to work with. You don't have to copy and paste or anything. You can pull it directly from the PDF. So let me open up what we're seeing. So this is the PDF document. It's got a little bit of sales data on it. It's got two tables. It was a Word document. It was a PDF was generated from it and sent to me. And I want to pull some of that information into Excel so I can do some sums, I can do some interrogation, some charts or anything like that. You might want to do the same. Now, you may go ahead and do some copying and pull it in. It may not format correctly and all that great stuff. But what you can do is use a nice little function. So let's go back to Excel. When you're back in Excel, you want to open up a new sheet and then you're going to go to the data tab. So in the data tab, you're going to be towards the left hand side and you want get data. And if you click on that, you'll see you've got loads of options to pull data in from different places. And the one you want is from file and then from PDF. You can see again, you've got loads of different options to pull your data in. But from PDF is the one that we're working on. And then I'm going to be able to navigate to my PDF document. So I'm going to select my PDF document and it's going to do a little bit of work in the background. It may take a few seconds before this pops up. But you can see now this navigator has now appeared and I can see the information. So on the left hand side there, I've got the document. And I can see any tables that are in that PDF. So it's it understands that there are two tables of data in my document. We saw that a few moments ago. And you can just see the pages as well. So you can see the two tables enabled, named one and two. If I'm not sure which one I'm after, then obviously if I click on them, then you can see I've got the information. It's not giving me a title. It's not pulled any other information in. So I'm just seeing the data table, but I am seeing page one. And this one is also on page one. They were both on the same page. So it's not massively helpful, especially if the data is the same, because mine was sales data in 2024, and then the exact same information in 2023. So we could do some comparison. So if needs be, you might need to just go back to that PDF document and identify which one you're looking for in case the information on that table isn't giving you what you need or if they're on the same page and you're not 100% sure. Let's go back and just have a look. I believe they come in order. So this one, the top one, 001, should be the first table on my PDF and 002 should be the second. But we can see that from the numbers at the top. So let's just go back and open up that PDF again. Yeah, you can see there at the top, the 2024 sales data. In case you're not sure, do definitely go back and have a look and make sure you've got the right data. I mean, if you pull in the wrong data, it's fine. You can just delete it. So it's entirely up to you which option you want to go with. But I can always go back and have a look in my PDF and make sure I'm looking at the same. So it's come in that exact order as well. So if, you're know, if you know you're looking for the third table of data in the PDF, especially if you've got multiple pages, then you're looking for the third table on that list. Let's go back to Excel. And back in Excel, like I said, you can see the table of data. So you do have a search option as well, which gives you a bit of detail. And then if I just pull this up so you can see towards the bottom, you've got a couple of different options here. So I'm obviously selecting a table. You've got a load option and that's going to pull it into Excel. There is a drop down there that says load to and you can take it somewhere else. You've got also a transform data option. So if you want to do something with this information before you put it into Excel, sometimes you can make some changes, which might be useful if you want to do that here before you pull it into your Excel document. So let's just have a quick look at what is available if I click on transform. And it's opening up a Power Query Editor. 
and I can see my information is there. So I can make any changes that I need to make for that. And I'm going to guess that most of you watching this video will just pull it in because you want that information and then you're going to play around with it in Excel. But if you do want to make any changes to it, you can see you've got manage columns and rows, combine, all sorts of different options at the top. And you've got query settings down the right as well. So I'm just going to get rid of that for a second. I'm going to discard that. And so it's not packed back up again. So I'm going to have to go and do that again. I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go to get data from file and PDF. Find my PDF again. And then it's going to open that exact same navigator. I'm going to select my first table. And I'm going to select load. And that's given me my information. It's just giving me a little pop up there. I'm going to get rid of. I've now got my information in a table. It's formatted it as a table in Excel. So it's not just pulled the data in. I've got the drop downs and everything there. I've got the query information on the right hand side that I can just close if I don't need to worry about that. And now because it's a table in there, I can now just go in and add formulas, add more data, do lots of great stuff with it. And just notice at the bottom, the tab name has now changed to the table reference number as well. So if you pull in different ones into different sheets, then you'll see that information sort of carries over, which may be quite useful for you. But now it's in here, obviously I can go and amend it how I want. I can copy and paste it and I can use it really easily. So that was just a quick view of how to use that function. Remember you go to data, you go to get data, I'll go there for you again from file and then from PDF. And then you can just select whichever one you are after. And pull that in. And do remember, you can make changes to it as you go through if you want to make changes to it at all. And you will see there is another few options in there as well. Display options, only selected items, enabling data previews useful things like that so you can see you've got nice options as well to play around with so once you've done that you're going to select load at the bottom might not appear on my screen i'll just pull that up a little bit so you select load at the bottom and then it will pull it directly into your excel and like i said before you can go in and then do whatever you need to do to that information so it's a really nice bit of functionality to play around with one to have a go at especially if you get a lot of reports and then you want to pull that data in and start playing around with it don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.